The manner in which companies are run in Ireland is very similar to other common law jurisdictions. This familiarity and Ireland's familiarity with inward investment makes setting up and running a company in Ireland a relatively straightforward process for global organisations. The incorporation process itself is, is unremarkable and it can be very quick. The corporate governance team at Mason Hayes and Curran advises on the incorporation process and prepares the paperwork. We talk you through the various requirements, we help you to meet them, and we file the paperwork so that the company is incorporated in the quickest time possible. Prior to doing that though, we can help you to, to understand the best structure for your Irish company within your global group. We'll talk you through the various company types, help you decide on the one that's most appropriate, which is usually the private company limited by shares. And we can advise on the various corporate governance needs for that organisation, the, the, the requirements in Ireland, and where there might be nuanced differences between regimes here and elsewhere in the world. As I've already said, the incorporation process itself is relatively unremarkable. However, if I was to give you some tips in terms of the things to think about prior to incorporation, it would be these. Choose a company name. Um, company names in Ireland need to be distinguishable from every other company name on the register, and they need to be pre-approved by our registrar of companies. Um, so come up with a few, let us know what they are, we'll run them past our company's registration office, and if we settle on one that everyone agrees with, we'll reserve that in advance. Think also about the addresses for the company. So in Ireland, a, a company does need to have a registered office, which is the official address to which formal, formal post will be directed, and also a place of central administration of the organisation in the state. Um, we can assist you in determining how best to structure that in, in the early days of the company, prior to you having um, an actual place of business, um, and obviously very happy to, to chat through the various, op various options around that. Think about the management structure, so, so think about who your officers will be. I mentioned already that the most popular type of, of, of company for subsidiaries of global groups is a private company limited by shares. This, this type of company can have just one director, it's also required to have a company secretary. The company secretary, where there is only one director, needs to be someone or some entity that's, that, that, that's different to the person holding the position of, of, of director. Usually, um, a, a, a subsidiary of a global organisation will have more than just one director, but, the, but the, the option is there. The director of an Irish company must be a person, it can't be a company or, or a body corporate. However, as I said already, the company secretary can be. We can also talk you through options about the composition of that board, whether you need to be thinking about having Irish resident directors um, or how else to navigate that. The, the minimum company law requirement is that you, have, you must have at least one EEA resident director. Where you don't, there's a requirement to put a bond in place that runs for two years and covers uh, breaches of company law and tax law during the period when you don't have the EEA resident director. Again, we're very happy to talk you through the requirements around putting such a bond in place or what might be preferable for the structure of your organisation. Think also about your share capital structure. For a private company limited by shares, this doesn't need to be complicated. There's no requirement for this type of company to have an authorised share capital, but it does need to have at least one share in issue. This share can be of any value and can be denominated in any currency. And my fifth and final tip is to consider availing of the fast track incorporation process. This process allows a company to be incorporated within five business days of, of submission of final signed paperwork. In order to avail of the process though, the incorporation needs to, be, needs to use a pre-approved type of constitution. A constitution is a company's rule book and it can be changed post-incorporation to include the rules that an organisation would like to include by way of special resolution of the members. We can talk you through exactly what this process involves. We also offer a pre-approved form, form of constitution as one of our incorporation services so that our clients can avail of this efficient means of getting their company established and getting up and running as soon as possible.